Hello everybody and welcome to the Man of Medan. You may be wondering why the fuck am I playing this game? Uh, it came out... Maybe a bit over a year ago? Oh, I'm reading this so fast. I can't even look without read- or read without looking. Uh, yeah, it came out a while ago. It was mediocre. People said it was alright. Some people didn't like it at all. God damn. But, in about a uh, couple weeks from now, the follow-up to this game little hope is coming out and it's part of this what they call the dark pictures anthology plan was supposed to have it uh be like a game every six months turned out to be like a year and a half later and here we are and i never played this game i've seen playthroughs of it i know what happens but leading up to the next game might as well play it why not so i still don't know if this this game is a lot like the game Until Dawn, where you make choices, choices impact, butterfly effect, quick time events, that kind of shit. But they also made it multiplayer, so you can either play co-op from like different areas, or like a party mode, where there's like five of you and you're playing all together. But, uh, we're playing alone, because I'm all I have. Can't do any of this because I haven't played it. New no slot. Also, it was on Game Pass, so there's another plus. Man of Medan. Is it Medan or Medan? Also, I did say before, I know what happened in this game, I've seen through it. But also, it was when the game came out, so I remember some of it, don't remember all of it. So we're just going to try and do what we do. I guess I'll try and save everyone. That's the whole point of these games, you want to keep your cast alive. You either have them all die, have them all dead, have some mixed. Alrighty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. You go, Charlie. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? Gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me? Joe, dark dockside market, miniature uh, post World War Two. Choose. Uh, son. Uh, I oh. guess I just want to know about my son. I didn't pick that. No, uh, oh, you have to like hold it. Gonna grow up all right. Things gonna work out for him. Dragon and bamboo. Tell me about the dragon. I see red. Pick up. Examine. It's a fish. Looks like a fish. My son's gonna become a fish? Okay. How does dragon lead the fish? Death. It's a good thing this guy can speak Spanish or speak Chinese. What the hell, man? Or just like, okay, thank you. Oh, yeah? Alright, treats updated. Oh, Joe. He's insecure. 
altruistic, selfish, reckless. He's a little bit guarded and a little bit eager. Pictures. So there's a lot of secrets. How's this work? Is this a what's with the 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 connections? Is it like a one secret leads to another? Bearings have none. Fine, sure. Let me know the quarter. Can I start a tab? How does this guy not have any quarters? I'll give it a whirl. All right, show them fighting seals drill. Aim, punch. Aim, punch. Nailed. Still going. Timer ring, how much time we have left. Okay. Ooh. Quick time events. What do you think I'm doing? I'm hitting everything flawlessly. I can use your foot. Did he win? Because I missed one? That's bullshit. I want a refund. Give me my quarterback. We better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man. Just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. Hey, more traits. The uh, same stuff. What updated? A box with a skull. Hint, hint. This is gonna be important. Why would you put anything with a skull and crossbones on your ship? That never leads to anything good. Hey man. Hey, where's my where's my 50 cent? I just spent it. 50 cent? What 50 cent? Come on, man. Hey, fuck off. Buddy. Nobody pushes me around. <laughs> Why? How loud is this boat? How big are the engines on this thing? Alright, thanks, Sergeant. We just awakened Frankenstein. Oh, it's bleeding. Someone get it a band aid. The ghosts are coming. Why are you sedating me? Those pupils are giant. Joe, sick bay. 
136 a.m. June 22nd. No year? I guess it's after World War One, whatever year that was. This is my kid. To Pops, come back soon. Well, knowing how this all turns out. Have a good life, kid. Okay. Shiny. Yeah. What the hell? Doctor dropped his quarters. Are those coins? They look like buttons. What is a tiny one? It's a key. What happened to you? And I investigate him. And I take his pen at least. Jot this down in a journal somewhere. Okay. These are very tight quarters. Uh, I don't like this camera movements. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Get me out of here already. What's called like what fixed camera there? positions? Heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. All right, Charlie. Lead the way. What you got in here? What were you doing in here, Charlie? Can I open the safe? In that private, Charles Anderson, on leave from duty, did display intoxication in a manner of not becoming of a member of the U.S. Army. Private Anderson was engaging with another soldier in a drunken argument. It is the opinion of the off arresting officer that this would lead to a public brawl, and steps were taken to ensure that both men were returned to their ship. Okay. We can now flip it over. Brig 10 days approve. You've been here 10 days? How long have I been asleep? Uh, I don't like this camera. Give me like a third person thing. Charlie, what are you doing in here? There's blood, but no body. Brig, week 27. Monday, Arthur Miller, private, petty theft, one day, Brig. Small items that belong to senior officer found in Miller's locker. Items recovered and returned to owner. Wednesday, David Davis, <laughs> private, trespass, two days, Brig. Found off limits in cargo hold 3A with no reason to be there. Flagrant disregard for orders. Friday, PFC Lewis brand public intoxication. One day, Lewis Brig or Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. Robert Reed public intoxication. One day, Brig found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. personnel on shore leave. Saturday, Charles Ironson, private, public intoxication, brawling, 10 days, brig, found drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on shore leave. Joseph Roberts, private, public intoxication, brawling, to, to, assigned to sick bay for medical treatment prior to internment. Okay. A lot of people getting in trouble. Just can't follow orders, can you? So what can I do with this? Can I not open it? Well, what's the point? Turn the dial, man. Alright, screw you, safe. Let's go, Charlie. 
Safe doesn't want me. I don't want it. Can we get some guns? Keep calm. In time with heartbeat? I'm gonna screw this up. Okay, it's slow. Maybe too slow. Sergeant? You doing good? Okay, bye. So if I screw that up, would he just shot me? He's having a fun time. What the hell? Uh, where, where did he go? Were we following him? Little boy. Did did you not see the little boy? Where'd the little boy go? Is there a little boy in here? All right, we're just not gonna talk about what we what I just saw. Did you not see it? Repeatedly, open. I set. Oh. Hello. Fuck no. Yeah, you said it. Two bar and that song. I know foo bar stands for something. I keep thinking it's like a weapon, like a crowbar. Fucked up beyond all rec recognition or recollection or something. Oh, he is. He is very stiff. His hands like all crab-like. Oh, damn it, Buckley! Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. Look at that hand. All right. Nothing this way. Okay. I appreciate you're trying to be cinematic, but it's a bit harder to control this way. Oh, thank you. Now you tell me. Yep, nope. If he's going that way, I'm going this way. Guess I'm going back. I'm coming back, Charlie. Don't worry. So, uh, is it just me, or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Do I look like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings? <laughs> no. You look like a mess on wheels, Chuck. I ain't the only one. Great. You're in good company. Just get up off that shit. It's fine. Agree. Yeah. Oh, okay, that got me. Hey, Chuck. You see that kid over there? Feeling all right? You know, I should probably play with uh, lights turned down, right? That's supposed to be a scary game. How's that? Yeah, it seems good. What happened to all you guys? Pick up a gun. Uh, what's with their jaws? They got a snap neck? Alright, Charlie, you first.
I can hear the heartbeat again. Weren't you just right behind me? How'd you get over there? That's a bit creepy with the headphones. Did you take Charlie's knife? You little bastard. Give it back! That didn't work. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> They're asking for your location. Give it to them. What the hell is that? Is that Spider Man? I don't think that uh, the cross worked. Maybe it did. Maybe the cross took his life for him so the monster didn't have to. John Asmore, Lamplighter, Iceman, this game guy. So I think this guy's the only like connecting thread between this game and the next game. Pretty sure when they released this game they had plans for eight or so games afterwards I wonder if like there's any clues here pointing to what like uh, could be the next game there's a little girl there's a dude in a bloody mask the axe man I guess conversation with death Okay. Hello. 
Oh, yeah, that's right. He's like telling stories. It's like this is the first story. I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out you see we each make decisions according to our own moral compass and we have to live with those decisions or die by them but you shouldn't fear death it is after all inevitable it is the tax one pays for having lived and it comes eventually to everybody still none of us want for it to come too soon do we As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken. Or whatever mess you've made. Okay, thank you.